The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed. It's ripened into a precious friendship. It feels like life. Oh, it's better, it's better with you. My life. Oh, it's better, it's better with you. This is true. Oh, it's better, it's better with two. My life. Oh, it's better with you. Hey, everybody, welcome to my brother, my brother. It's an advice show for the, the modern era, and I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. What's up, Trav Nation? Woof woof, it's me, big dog Travis McElroy, coming at you live. What's up, Trav Nation? It's still me, Griffin McElroy. I'm sorry I'm not more Travis. No, but I um, did, I granted Griffin diplomatic immunity within Trav Nation. Travel yeah, matic community. <laughs> yeah, travel matic community. He's uh he's an ambassador from the Democratic Republic of Griffin. Um, they, I, <laughs> every, I hopped onto the Trav Nation message board yesterday, yeah. and they all call me the weak one. Yeah, they all just <laughs> say like, "I didn't like when the weak one said the thing about um, Travis in this last episode." I don't know why I'm called that. My approval ratings have never been higher, Griffin. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you okay. look, tra- you look Travis. Just a different, I, a different name you. would be awesome. You look Welcome, travelers, to Trav Nation. <laughs> That would be a good pivot, actually, right, for the bit. I think if the, you became a sort of um, psionic sort of uh, explorer of the mind. Oh, uh, I, I would love that for Trav Nation. Okay, we can actually. work on that. Um, um, I'll, I'll run that Trav, by the boys Travelers with the T-R-A-V in all caps yeah. is is really strong. I think that could be a really powerful new idea. This can Travelers, welcome. Gird yourself against the travages of war. Yeah, we are at war. Yeah. We've, uh, we've, we, Trav, you raised a question with us before uh, we began recording that I would love to return to and just get our, just really get our thoughts in. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very excited tonight. I'm going to see Kesha uh, live at the ominous sounding Megacorp Pavilion. <laughs> um, <laughs> How Club stoked are you going to be when fucking Big Hero 6 shows up and yeah, saves the day, man? I can't mm-hmm. fucking wait. Right across the river, we got Great American Ballpark, and I guarantee, yeah. like, they're like too evil and superhero. Like, I love it. But, anyways, going to see Kesha. Um, and there's a good chance I'm going to get to do a meet and greet scenario. And I cannot decide, and I asked my brothers this, where we're at currently socially on the consensus of wearing the performer's t-shirt or merch to meet yes. them. Travis said that if we were backstage at one of our shows and someone came back wearing a shirt with one of us on it, that would be a good thing. To which I instantly responded. Justin I, said that. I said Just, that. And Justin I agree. Likes that. And I feel that. You feel that if someone walked up on you and they were like, what's up? I'm talking to you, but you're also on me in my clothes. It's an increasingly fractured media landscape, right? It's not as though I'm I'm Mick. Let's step back. Let him go off. Cook. It's not as though I'm Mick, Mick or. Jagger or one of the other guys in the band, right? And And you come up to me with the big lips and what all. I'm not going to be moved by that. Yeah, man, it's the Rolling Stone. But Mm -hmm. I feel like in this increasingly fractured media landscape, you're communicating a lot by having a Kesha t-shirt. This is not, it's all all very fragmented. And you don't think I'm communicating that by being at the show at a meet and greet. She doesn't know you from fucking Adam, man. She's going to see you there, and she's she's going to think, this guy is trying to sell something. This guy's back yeah. here, and he's trying, trying to, to move something. units. Trying to yeah. sell some, something. Work, like a vacuum working cleaner? Work an angle. What are you talking work about? Work an angle. Networking. Networking. Well, I am doing angles. that. What? I am doing I mean, 
I would love to become Kesha's friend, but if Kesha knew, uh, honestly, Trav, if Kesha knew what a treacherous situation she had entered into with just the friendship tractor beam that you are going to lay out, none are spared. Eddie no. Eddie Izzard was not spared. Travis no. does not spare people. When, I'm very when charming. He is, what? I'm very charming. I'm very. You super... are relentlessly charming. Okay. Relentlessly well, charming. I'll take that. Yeah. Don't Viciously. you think? Don't you think Kisha is going to have her head on a swivel for that? I feel like Kisha is going to n- not want to bro down unless it's like real. Um, and I'm not saying that it won't be from you, but I'm just saying that the 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 barrier of entry there is going to be high and understandably so. Well, when you reach a certain level of fame like Kesha and I have, mm-hmm. like okay. I think that you can relate to each other on that level, right? Of just like, yeah, I get it, and I get it too, but we can be ourselves with each other. No, but she can't be herself with you it's, oh. if you have a Kesha t-shirt on. <laughs> I'm realizing. Uh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I, I also think, Trav, I think the vibe backstage at the Kesha show is going to be different from the post-show vibe backstage at the McElroy family show. Because mm, I can tell you, yes. friend, if you've never been backstage after McElroy family show, here's how it works. You come back, and we start begging you to eat the fruit and vegetables that we asked yeah. for but did not consume. The the unopened box of Cheez-Its. We are trying to get food away our, to people. Yeah, in case so our children's food didn't make it on time for dinner, we have yeah. the box of Cheez-Its. Right, emergency. Yeah, so we're trying to like give you food and we're looking around awkwardly like, how can we make you more comfortable? This is me at least. Like, what are they having a good time? What can I do to help them have more fun? Will they yeah. please drink some of these Cokes that Paul is it weird finish. how is it weird how tired I'm being? Is it I'm, weird how tired? Do you I'm know how tired them? I am and how I want to lay down? And what part yeah. of that do you think will be different with Kesha? So Kesha, you um, won't get close to Kesha. <laughs> you won't get. Oh, that's the first. Okay. You're, you're not going to be anywhere near Kesha. That's first. No. Okay. That's the you're, first. That, I'm hoping may, that there will be a vibe of like. I'm glad there's an adult here amongst all of these teenagers because I have to assume I'm Kesha's oldest fan. And they're like, and she's like, I feel safe that my dad is here. He's going to protect me from all these. That's a weird thing. Troubling energy. Yeah. Troubling, troubling. Even to do here in the podcast. Even here and now. I don't understand. This Kesha free zone. That's still. You don't think that the fact that I'm an older, responsible adult. Present. No, no, that's not gonna help. That's not what I. No, the weird part is when you said you wanted to be Kesha's dad. I didn't say I, I wanted just, to be Kesha's dad. He says he you is would, Kesha's dad. You would. I would be if she Kesha's needed it. Dad. If she I asked me to. I would adopt Kesha. Okay. Okay. You can't adopt adults. I've told you this so many fucking times, Travis. I don't mean legally, Justin. <laughs> um, I am Kesha. Is my ward. This is my ward. This Kesha. is my sidekick, <laughs> and this is my ward, Kesha. Bow, <laughs> Travis, deeply upon entering the room. You're Bow not going to be. You, I think the movie Wayne's World and Wayne's World Two gave people a misguided idea. I, I in Wayne's World, he walks into Alice Cooper's dressing room and shows his badge and says, "Alice, is this cool?" And then he says, "Yeah, come in and hang out with us." <laughs> Are you expecting that energy from Kesha? You're like, Kesha, is this cool? And she's like, "Yeah, come hang out with us." Is that me on your shirt? Of course. Come on yeah. in. I will say this. It's an extremely s- narrow sliver of daylight, but if there is a human being who can and will find it, it is Travis. It's Travis. Yeah. yeah. It is Travis. And the, I will also say we have mutual friends. Here he goes. So Here I'm just goes. saying I have. <laughs> Here he goes. Have that's some tools. That's gonna your get opener. Dust, that's gonna your get the opener. dustpan out. Get ready to catch all these names. Let me scoop them on up in the old name dustpan. Everybody's got mutual friends with Kesha. That's a good point. Do they? Few degrees. Travis, are you worried that in concert when she hits that note on Prayin', it's going to be like the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark in there? Yeah. And just like a wave of force is going to shoot through everyone yes. and turn them all into gooey skeletons? Yes, I am grooving. I okay. think if I saw Kesha live when she hit TikTok, I would be like gesticulating in a way and gyrating in a way that would yeah. become hazardous to those around me. I actually oh, was thinking about it today. If she was to do TikTok, your love is my drug and timber back to back to back, I actually yeah. think it would cause several deaths. I yeah, think no. everybody would get so hype. If Pitbull, if Pitbull makes a surprise appearance and they do timber together, 
I'm I have to leave. I actually but might what have if to leave. She's like, what if you're like dead on the ground, okay, and you're dying and you're trying to get to heaven, and then your yeah. body, your spirit's pulling up out of your body. Yeah. And he's like, and then she's like, This song makes me want to fuck in my car. And then she does gold trans am. And it's like, yeah, yeah. I'm get what out am of I gonna town. do? I have to go back to my body. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, Travis, but this is your only chance if you don't go to heaven now. And I'm like, I'm but already gold in trans heaven. Am. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I've heard the the just like a number of people who go to a Kesha concert and experience just full blown ego death to the <laughs> line "Beat so fat, gonna make me come." Yeah, is um like n- the, she's batting almost a thousand. Yeah, there. everyone <laughs> hears that line. It's like, oh, I'm a different person. Now. <laughs> yeah, and, and she at the end of that's why at the end of every show she's like, if you have experienced ego death, I am going to recruit you for my cerulean mines. Yep. Come yeah. enter the fold. <laughs> you have yeah. d- you have disgraced yourself and you have lost your name. Your name if is that happens. Kesha. I will I will um incorporate Trav Nation into whatever she's got going on. I'm all I'm all about it. You will be um, su- subsumed. Yeah, you will You'll be, be subsumed. devoured. Yeah, we will we will become a surf. Just just checking, Trav, because I'm gonna keep guessing at this. Is the mutual friend between you and Kesha Pitbull? You know what? This would be a fun. I've never played like six degrees of separation with Pitbull, but I now I want to. You know the problem with it is you have no fucking clue who Pitbull knows. You can't do that. You have yeah. There are people, Justin, who do like web sleuthing to like solve murders, and there are people who do like web sleuthing to like find missing persons. I do web sleuthing to be like, do I do I know anyone who knows this person? I'm pretty good at it at this point. (laughs) Oh, hey, okay. don't feel bad, Trev. I'm sure Pitbull is doing that with you. <laughs> you don't yeah, have is it, okay, is there a 0% chance? I want you guys yes, to say yes. with confidence, a 0% chance <laughs> yes. that Kesha has ever heard my brother, my brother, and me before. 0%. Okay, no, 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 no. If Kesha, is Kesha on TikTok? Just if Kesha's, TikTok. If Kesha's, <laughs> Kesha invented TikTok as its inventor, do you, I feel like Kesha may have heard if JoJo Siwa heard one of our sounds, I think it's possible Kesha has heard one of our sounds on TikTok. That is the cool most way I to can introduce grant you. yourself to someone. By the way, hey, what's up? I'm Travis McRoy. Maybe you've heard one of my excellent sounds on TikTok. Not, I don't not associate it with from my face, monetarily. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, anyway, well, are these cheeses for anyone, or <laughs> like what? What's the deal? Kesha's never eaten a cheese it before. That is, there's no way that's have... true. I guarantee she is a down to earth chill hang who loves Cheez Its and like reasonably priced white wine. Can I hit yeah. you something, Trav? Maybe, maybe baker a loaf of bread. I thought no. about it, Justin. Don't I? She wouldn't Guys, eat it. She wouldn't eat Justin, it. But I thought about it. I wouldn't it. eat it. If Kesha brought you a loaf of bread at the show, you'd eat the Kesha bread. Oh, Need fuck to. yeah. You'd have to eat yeah. the Kesha bread. Because if I said, I was poisoned by Kesha. Like that, I think that <laughs> that's w- best case scenario. Yeah. That's like story for life. You will never lose two truths and a lie from that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but why would Kesha poison you? Yeah. I don't know, but she did. She did. Um, this is just a story for podcast. Yeah, she did. I don't want to get everybody confused. No, Kesha yeah, yeah. has yet to poison me. Uh, well, Trav, I'll need a full report. Um, Griffin, what do you just real quick, just to close it off, what do you think the odds are that our brother sees Kesha? Can I tell you something? Can I tell you makes something? Makes it backstage. That's the first one. Second yeah. meets Kesha, three befriends Kesha. If one happens, two will happen. <laughs> three might happen. <laughs> it's a it's a chain. It's a chain reaction. It, I'm gonna say juice. There is a 70% chance that all that shit's going to happen. 70? Yeah. Not in the shirt. I'm going to say this. I don't think... If you want to have a surface-level pleasant interaction with Kesha, the shirt helps. If you want to forge a lifelong friendship with Kesha, yeah. that that is that is what the shirt is saying. That's the shirt. I knew you as um, a fan first. I can never be your friend like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. You've point. answered my um, questions. We have... Given too much of our wisdom to Travis for free and none of it to our I pay beloved Justin. listeners for free. Travis does, but my rates are very reasonable. This is an yeah. advice show. Okay. Uh, and we don't just help each other. We help you too. If you have a question, an actual advice question, that would be funny to talk about. Looking at some of you. 
You can email that to mbmbam at maximumfun.org. We don't. We got a lot that. of good ones this week. I want to try to get through three. Let's go. Shut up, Griffin. Okay. Trying to, Let's do it. No, you don't. You don't control the pace. I'm the pace. I'm it's the pace horse. Weird. It's getting weird. There's weird energy in the studio. Who's the pace horse? <laughs> I'm a regular at my local movie theater. Additionally, I'm huge into hot dogs. Oh my God, Travis, let's make a promise right now. We are not going to talk about Bob Mortimer. <laughs> we are or not Joey going to Chestnut. Just... I think we also need to put a Joey Chestnut more. Yes, we will not talk about <laughs> Bob Mortimer. <laughs> Sun's oh, yeah, and saying, uh, it's great to be alive. Is that it? What a time to be alive. <laughs> what a time. <laughs> We're not yeah, going to talk about it. You're not going to talk about off it. Listen to Off Menu with Bob Mortimer. Uh, the was, best podcast episode. Yeah. You guys literally, Ed literally Gamble, just James said, we're getting it out of the way so we don't reference it later okay. to people. Okay. If I go somewhere, theme park, train station, gift shop, and they sell hot dogs, I will get one without question. Wow. Without this person question? doesn't list, list their age, but I can't imagine it's very high, right? There's, there's no way someone has made it into their 30s or 40s with this kind of lifestyle. Okay. Recently, I've been tempted to get more than one hot dog at the theater, but uh, I don't always want both at once. Would it be acceptable to buy a hot dog on the way out? As I stated earlier, I'm a regular at this point, and I know of my penchant for Frank's. Last week, as embarrassing as it is to admit, I walked into a theater to see Saw X and the employee wave saying, hey... Another hot dog boss? Fuck, that's good. That'd that's be really so cool. cool. Is the embarrassing part seeing Saw X? Because the other part is awesome. The other I've heard part's it's great. the best Saw in years. Is it weird to buy a hot dog on the way out of a movie theater? That's from Rocky, a.k.a. the hot dog boss. I heard in Saw X that guy has to cut off and eat his own butt to get the key <laughs> out of it. Wow. Yeah. There's an episode it? of Off Menu with Bob Mortimer where he says he goes into Jeez. movie theaters just to get the hot dog sometimes. So I, yeah. if he will do that, I think that it's fine to buy one on your Here's, way out. As, as someone who has microwaved those hot dogs before, that's not my personal sort of journey that I would want to go on. Um, we didn't have one of those fancy little rotisserie roller guys yeah. uh, at the theater I worked at. It was mostly just microwaved, bagged, uh, sort of super donut hot dogs. Here's what I'll say about this question. What I like about this, we get questions not exactly like this, but in a similar vein, because... There's two different variables because you change the framing of the question. You start by saying, would it be acceptable to buy a hot dog? And then is it weird to buy a hot dog on the way out? Because acceptable, yeah, you're not going to go to prison. They're not going to ban you from the movie theater, right? You're buying the hot dog to eat it on your way out of the movie theater. You watched a two-hour movie. You got hungry. You had a hot dog in the beginning. Two hours passed, a reasonable amount of time. And you bought a hot dog to eat on your way out. Is it weird? Yes, because no one goes to the concession stand at the end of the movie. Does that mean no. it's so weird you shouldn't do it? No, it's just out of the ordinary. It's just not the norm. Have you noticed, have you guys ever experienced, this is something I think about a lot of the movies, the, the, the mystery of the movie meal. You ever been about to see a movie and it's close to a meal time and oh, you're yeah. like, I'll eat at the movies. And then you get to the movies and they're like, we got popcorn and almonds. And do you want like goobers and stuff? And they do have a hot dog, but you're sane, so you're not going to buy a hot dog at the movie theater. Yeah, so or you nachos. Eat, what you do you do? eat food at the movies, and then at the end of it, it's like, I don't know what to do meal-wise. Yeah, Did I right. have a meal? I don't know. I was at a movie. Justin, that's yeah. hit me before where I've gone to see like an afternoon matinee, where mm. after 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, I've eaten a bunch of popcorn. The movie ends. Now it is dinner time, but I've effectively filled my stomach with food grade, like uh, like cotton balls or whatever, yes. food grade styrofoam. You've stuffed and yourself. Literally. My body's like, I don't want any more. My stomach says no more food, but my body's like, we crave any kind of usable <laughs> vitamins, None of this calories, is usable anything, energy. please. Can I tell you, though, the bridge that helps you cross that movie break gap? It's called a hot dog, I mean, and you eat it at the movie theater, and it's now now it's a meal. Did I eat a bunch of watermelon flavored Sour Patch Kids and drink like two cherry diet cokes from the fancy mix em up machine? Yeah, I did. Does that a meal make? No, but my friend Hot Dog is there to be like, don't worry, guys, they're with me. I clearly am part of a meal. I'm a hot dog. Now, does so. this apply to nachos? <sighs> no, because because Lunchables. Edge I don't case. know if you guys have seen this. Lunchables has a Lunchable that's like, it's a perfect meal. 
chips and cheese, <laughs> Capri Sun, and a uh, 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 Kit Kat. And it's like, that's, guys, that's this is not meal. a Lunchable. No, this I is a. The two that bridge the gap for me, hot dog and pizza, right? Pizza, if someone like, I could, oh, I don't have time for anything. I'll eat a slice of pizza. We all agree that pizza is like the fast and go-to meal. You are, you are so, anytime I've ordered any concession stand pizza, it is an absolute roll of the dice that almost always comes up snake eyes, which is probably a bad metaphor. That's usually bad is what I should try to say. Yeah. It's not a roll of the dice. It's probably Well, bad. Justin, yes, but I don't want to get hangry while watching large man Dominic Toretto punch bad guys in the face. So I need yeah. some calories to sustain my body. And that's what I'm seeing the pizza as, right? Yeah. The pizza is like in a video game where it's just like, I'm going to eat a bunch of seaweed and onion stock or whatever to right. rebuild my health. Yeah, it's man. It's like eating doing. rats off the campfire to yeah. rebuild your energy enough to hike out of the yes. woods. Yeah. I went and saw a movie. I won't say which one because of the ongoing um, strike, but um, it was long and pretty boring and about Oppenheimer. And I <laughs> that could be anything. I could be I, anything. Pretzel, I had it was dinner time, and I had pretzel bites and raisinets, and I think I discovered a new meal, like Ooh. a new fruit and like carb, a new, baby. It's not breakfast. It certainly wasn't dinner. Couldn't have been lunch. Wasn't brunch. It was a meal, though, but a special secret meal. Not fourth meal. This isn't some Taco Bell. Nonsense. I'm not trying to yeah. sell anything. No. Um, it's like big, like, like hearty snack. Yeah, I had meal a har- 2.5. I had, I had hearty snack in the evening time. For uh, boys. Uh, the, a hearty snack for boys <laughs> after dusk. <laughs> Uh, hopefully that helps. I don't know. It's okay to eat a hot dog. It's okay to eat a hot dog anytime you want. Um, hey, it's Halloween Mm. and basically, and people are, people go searching for fear and terror at this time of year. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. I've got plenty of that just sort of going around. But if you like to play scary video games this time of year, I have a wiki how here Tori sent in. That is how to avoid getting too scared when playing a scary computer Thank game. God. That's helpful. Because I'm trying to catch up on all the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's before the movie comes out. Yeah. Um, that lore, simple, straightforward. It's, a, yes. it's just a straight line of lore. Don't worry about it. It's easy yeah, to keep up with. They're robots who turn kids into pizza. Yeah. That's all you delicious, need to know about Five Delicious, delicious pizza. They turn kids into pizza. Is and the ball pits is people. Um. Yeah, and Five Nights at Freddy's, they turn the kids into pizza. That's, That's why kids love these, this game so much. Is like That's kids twisted. love pizza. Yeah, they're like, I want to be pizza, and I want the big robot to turn me into it. That's Five Nights at Freddy's, yeah. basically. So, um, many players find frightening video games difficult. While you may enjoy the thrill of playing a scary game, you may find yourself unpleasantly anxious afterwards. If you want to reduce fear, play in the right environment. Okay, then it basically summarizes the whole article, which isn't fun. So let's get into it. Step one, keep the lights on. Keep Step one, keep your grades up. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can't step, play video games with bad grades. Yeah. Step 1.5, no the com- computer going to go away. Computer going to go away. It's homework time. Parents are parents going to take that computer away if you get bad grades. Yeah, and um, Freddy won't even play with you if you have bad grades. The first thing Freddy, I have is you boot up Five Nights at Freddy's. Freddy's like, wait, hold on. No, no, no. Enter Hold your, your report card up to your box. webcam. Nope. But yeah, he's, <laughs> it's him and Chuck E. Cheese narking you out. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, so uh, yeah, just play with the lights on. You know this. This is anyway. how many lights uh, though. That's the we can't just say the light like in the whole house because one time I was playing Riven and it was the middle of the day and the lights on and I got spooked by that game. You're yeah. still gonna get scared, right? I mean, this is just make it manageable. You're still oh, gonna okay. be very yeah, yeah. frightened. Yeah. Um, step two: switch off the sound. Music and sound effects can greatly enhance the scary aspects of a computer game. I would say if you are not enjoying playing the computer game, switch off the all of it. Yeah, all I would it. argue, um, article, that while turning off the sound might decrease the scariness, it might drastically increase the difficulty. <laughs> uh, many video games these days do include important sounds, right? especially scary games. When it's like, oh, it's coming, there's a noise, there's a beep. All of that is, uh, maybe there's, if now if there is accessibility options and you can turn on yeah. 
cues. I mean, yeah, that's that's, yeah, that's that's nice. Rules anyway. And if you're gonna do Um, that, put on some Dave Matthews. Nothing scary about Dave Matthews unless you're afraid of getting poop dumped on you. (laughs) But otherwise, (laughs) it's a totally safe, uh, chill, chill. What are the odds of that happens again? Yeah, and (laughs) we're being extra careful, baby. Never get laxed. It already happened. Um, step. (laughs) Step three, make what the characters age, do- though, Can I ask a serious question? What would you say if it happened again? That is a I'd question. say don't bite the mailman. <laughs> um, make the characters do funny things. If you start to get scared during gameplay, see if you can find a way to incorporate humor. Yeah. Make your character move in a manner that looks like they are dancing. There's a great way that. of dealing with any frightening thoughts uh, yeah. that I utilize constantly. If I have a, a scary thought that's plaguing me, I just mm-hmm. put some uh, like a funny clown nose on it or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some, I, some, yeah. Wet pants. Oops. Somebody had an accident. Yeah. I just uh, picture my younger brother um, like reacting to being scared of things, and it makes me laugh every time. There's nothing really? I love more than like jump, Griffin getting jump scared in video games. You did several. Ooh. What was the one you did that was like the House of a Thousand Scares? I'm not going to talk about it. And you got so spooked by the jump scares, and it made me so happy because you would get jump scared and then so angry at yourself for being jump scared. And ah, it makes me happy. I want to see I this. It. Where is this? I want to see uh, it. It's, it's a Polygon video, uh, from the House of, House of a Thousand Scares. I assume that, yeah, that, sounds sh- it. that site that closed like it. in 2018 when I left. So, in, Well, it was never the same. No, All right, okay. manage your emotions. What? Identify what really scares you. You can't it just can help say know. that like, oh, manage my emotions, right. Come on. Identify what scares you. When I see Pyramid Head in Silent Hill, a game that I once played while listening to Switchfoot on my Discman to have less scary sounds um, and also get a little help from G-O-D, uh, then... I was afraid of Pyramid Head and his big knife. That was sort of the source of my fear. It must have been so. Him. That must have been so brutal when you're like huddling in a corner and all you can hear is "Dare you to move." And it's like, yeah, I can't move. I I'm can't. Too move. scared of Pyramid Head. You're not doing your job for me right now. You can also it. just recontextualize and be like, oh, he's not a scary guy. He's just in his like Egyptian phase that I think like every grade school person with ADHD went through. Right, where it's just like now, oh, I want to learn everything about Anubis. Yeah. Um, I've never played the games. I don't know what happens in Silent Hill. It has nothing to do with the fuck you just said. Oh, really? It was yeah, so not wildly a, not off base. Yeah, it has nothing to do with uh, the the pyramids of Egypt or anything like Justin, that. Justin, I have shared the video in chat, and you can watch it after Thanks. the Thanks, I'll watch it at my leisure. Yeah, Spooky's House Imagine of you're... Jump Scares. Gameplay overview with Griffin getting spooked by it. Enjoy, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. I love that video. Imagine yourself playing without fear. That's cool. I like that. Whoa, actually. that's empowering. I like that yeah. too. Visualizing I, wait, the reality I, you want. I don't understand the perspective though. Am I standing behind myself, watching myself play without fear? Yes. Yes. That's scary. I just scared <laughs> myself. Oh no! What am I doing back there? Oh, I jumped. This is no. A- it's frightening, but you got to be there. Like you have to be bold as okay, well. Okay, now I'm gonna like, picture myself. Implied. I'm, Boldness I'm is implied. Myself, well, I'm standing behind myself, watching myself play without fear. The me who's playing turns around, sees myself, gets scared. They fight. The one with okay. fear loses. Okay, the I don't one think with that's true. You think the one without fear loses? It's whichever one you feed. Yeah. Well, I feed both <laughs> the of them. It's me. Yeah, okay. but like, just you only feed one. In this like, who had a more wins. fortifying meal before the thing? <laughs> yeah, whoever had scared the Travis had a big sandwich. Um, not scared. Travis had some soup. So scared Travis does win. I feel like Afraid Griffin's going to do better in a scrap than Not Afraid Griffin. Yeah, he's wily. If a bear comes up on Not Afraid Griffin, yeah. Not Afraid Griffin's going to be like, all right, um, I, guess, I guess, let's go. But Afraid Griffin is like, I have to protect my my house and my family. Yeah, and I mean, there's a reason God scared. made it so that we get afraid of things. Is what yeah, I'm saying. Maybe sure. God doesn't want you to play scary games. Maybe, how's your walk? Have you thought about yeah. that? Keep your grades up, check your walk. Hey, use positive self-talk as you play the game. Be aware of what you're feeling when you play the game. When you find yourself having a fearful thaw, counter it with positive self-talk. This will help you keep your emotions in check as you play the game. Check for when you're having a fearful thought. For example, you may think something like, I wonder what I would do if I really saw a ghost. I would be so scared. Counter this with some positive and rational self-talk. For example, it's very unlikely I will ever see a ghost. (laughs) Huh. And if I do... I trust myself to keep my cool. 
two profoundly wild thoughts yeah. in the same sentence. First yeah. of all, you would. Can we talk the first? Uh, we we do need to split, split it up. up. Yeah, split, split it up. up. Yeah. The first thing is this idea that you're watching a, 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 a game, a scary game, and the problem is you start thinking, I wonder what I would do if I saw a ghost. I think that is exactly the experience that you should Great. be having right there. Yeah. Like, oh, I would be extremely scared if I saw a real ghost. Now, I, think, I, do, yeah. I do like that the counteraction is not, I will never see a ghost. But rather, no. I would say the fairly watered down affirmation of it's pretty unlikely. It's, I don't think it. I to don't. Me, I don't think I would be scared. I don't think I'd be scared if I saw a ghost, guys. I would keep my. I think it's hugely unlikely I'll ever see a ghost. No, no, no. Really? But if you did see one, would but you if be I did scared? The, I think I'd keep. I think I'd keep my cool. It depends on. Okay, it depends on if I'm somewhere that I'm already cycling myself up to be scared of seeing a ghost. Yeah, but if I'm just like at the grocery store and I turn around and see a ghost, I'm not fucking scared. I'm perplexed. If anything, like, did a big can of soup fall on your head while you were shopping? The danger is yourself, is what you're saying. The danger is you're you're getting yourself into that fight or flight state. Then you see the ghost and you're like, well, sure. That's if the I'm match. at a zoo That's and I see a bear, I'm not scared. But if I'm in the woods and a bear comes up on me, I'm terrified. You say if you see okay. a ghost in captivity, yes, I would be That's more fine. scared of a ghost in captivity because that is going to break bad. Oh, that he's okay. not going to stay in there. He's going to get out. He's going to make things very unpleasant. He's going to switch places with your ghost. Oh, uh, something, man, right? They're always something. up to some kind of angle. But I think by and large, I'm not scared of a ghost. What is that? Slime? I don't care. You know what I mean? Can't touch me. I'd, I'd rather not have a beager. Thank you. Thank you. No oh, Dan yeah, 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 yeah. A real Ackroyd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, give me I, a I'd rather not don't have that. I'd rather job. we both go about our business and yeah. you not knock over all my papers. And books, sure, you know sure, what I mean? Sure. Or knock over my 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 candle that I've don't used to Don't awkwardly stack up my stuff. Don't do don't that. Don't stack yeah. up my things. Yeah, don't clean either. I want these things where they are. Yeah. I but I w- I'm not scared yeah. of ghosts. You're annoyed is what it sounds like. Talk to a friend. Call a scientist. Keeping your feelings bottled up can make stress and fear worse. To calm your nerves after playing a game, call or text a friend. You don't have to explain don't the situation do if you're embarrassed. Don't. You can simply chat about other things until you start to calm down. Oh, okay. I thought it was saying like, hey, Steve, it's me. Yeah, I was calling, I was playing Silent Hill again. Can you talk me down, bud? Just talk I'm me really down, scared. bud. Hey, 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 Dougie. Yeah, I saw Dracula long. He <laughs> told me a miserable pile of secrets. It is so <laughs> fucked up. I'm so freaked out right now. Can you come over? Can you come Can over? Can you come over? Can you rub my feet? We'll watch Pride and Prejudice together. Just Can take, we watch Pride and, Pride and Prejudice while you rub my feet? Because Dracula off scared it. me so fucking bad. Can tonight. you skip through all the tense parts? I just don't think I can handle it. Now, why do I keep playing Dracula's horrible game? I I I, I don't know. It's because I made it and I have to check it for bugs. God, I hate this guy. <laughs> why I feel like if in anybody there? in that if they, if anybody in that organization is checking for bugs, it's Renfield, right? <laughs> oh, I get it. All right. He loves eating those things. He loves to eat bugs. In my head, when I was thinking about it, it was really good. And I he thought wasn't, guys, it was really good. No, I, I don't think he works gonna, at Sega or whatever. I thought you were yeah. gonna fucking go. <laughs> You thought, oh, geez, bananas. That so disappointing for it was you, man. So disappointing. I'm trying to take you inside my real heart. I thought that was so good. Yeah, then, <laughs> you're you're gonna, gonna have to suffer shit. through that. That's that's my burden to bear. Next time, if you think of a joke like that, you could just send it straight over to me. I'll deliver it for you. If it gets a that's big laugh, that, I'll I credit think that's you. That's what shocked me, Justin, is that you opened your mouth and a Travis joke came yeah. out. This and has I was been a so recurrent problem. Up. Like I had, I told you guys that movie idea. That I had that was sent to me instead of Travis. Yeah, remember the one about <laughs> doesn't matter. But the no, um, no, no, it does. Tell the people at home. It, I'm not going to tell people. It's no, that's stupid. I'm not going to use the po- kidding aside. I'm not going to use the podcast to talk about this idea for a great movie. It's too good. You're it's too make good it. and too funny. But it was meant for Travis and was delivered by what Liz Gilbert calls big magic, the creative energies. It was delivered to me in accident, which like is fine. People can't tell us apart. Our voices, I get it. But yeah. um, we are different people though. We are different people. Hugely. We've, I don't think we've ever clarified that in like 680 episodes. Justin yeah. and I are not the same person. Different people. The beard's not helping. Yeah, the same I birthday, understand. so the clues don't add up. Oh my up. God, fuck, you're right, Griffin. Do I my zone? Let's go. End of the jokes. Well, hey, 
Hey everybody, it's just me here. Uh, both my brothers have gone to the restroom, uh, but I'm a professional, so I only go to the bathroom once a day so that I can keep recording. So let me tell you about Stamps. Stamps.com specifically. Uh, did you forget to add Stamps.com to your holiday wish list? Last hey, Justin, did you forget to add Stamps.com to your holiday wish list last year? You dummy. You silly billy goat. Well, we all make mistakes, Justin. Don't worry about it. Stamps.com has been helping businesses like yours, Justin, save time and money during the holiday rush for 25 years with easy access to USPS and UPS services and premium rates for all your postal needs, Justin. With Stamps.com, all you need is a computer and printer. They send you a free scale, so you'll have everything you need to get started. And if you sell products online, Stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart, Justin. So don't you worry about it. I see by the look on your face that you're absolutely shocked. Shocked so much you can't talk about it. So get huge carrier discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates to help your bottom line. Give your business the gift of Stamps.com so your mailing and shipping is covered this holiday season. Sign up with promo code MYBROTHER for a special offer that includes a four-week free trial, plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code MYBROTHER. Hey, Griffin, have you been trying to get your, your style together? Listen, not that there's anything wrong with it. You know I think you're an absolute cutie, Griffin. I'm just saying that maybe it's time to update your look. Well, have you thought about trying Stitch Fix? It's, uh, you should, you should check it out. Ready up your wardrobe game, Griffin, but don't know where to start or even what sizes you're at. It's time to get yourself a Stitch Fix. Are you doing the ads by yourself? I was kind of, so, I was, a, so you get all the money from them? No, I was abandoned and I just, I wanted to carry on. You weren't abandoned. We had to go and make water. And I don't think that that's, uh, and I'll say Justin's been gone a little longer than me, so maybe he's making some a little more than water. But um, they're not going to pay if it's just you. But you guys just kind of got up and left. You're like, let's do the money zone. Bye. And then you left. But you don't have the same sort of discerning reputation that Justin and I have. So, like, when we talk about how much we love Stitch Fix, yeah. um, like, people know that we're not just talking bullshit. Because I don't say that about anything. Yeah. I mostly say it about Stitch Fix. And you and you use Stitch Fix? You like Stitch Fix? I've heard of it. Okay. Where were you at in the ad copy? I'll take it from here. I was at the think of them as your style partner. Well, if you think of them as your style partner, your stylist will learn about your taste uh -huh. and collaborate with you on looks you'll love without breaking the bank. I'm so tired. You finish. Oh, okay. Uh, with your choices in mind and a wide range of sizes available from extra small to 3XL, they'll find your perfect fit and send you clothes handpicked for you. They have just over a thousand brands and styles and do the work of choosing the best options for you. And if you don't love something, you just send it back. Shippings, returns, and exchanges are always free. Um, I have basically at this point, 90% of my wardrobe is Stitch Fix. It's incredible. Um, I'm never giving it up. Uh, yeah, I'm never backing down. So thanks, Stitch Fix. They just get me, and they'll get you too. Try it today at stitchfix.com slash brother, and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash brother. Stitchfix.com slash brother. Just a quick update in case anyone's wondering, Justin is still gone. Yeah. Justin is still not back. You think he's going number three? Oh, my God. But that's only legend, Griffin. You think? Should one of us check on him? You're closer. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, be, I'll pop up in that window in three hours. Okay. I'm Jordan Cruciola, host of Feeling C, where we start by asking our guests just one question. What movie character made you feel seen? I knew exactly what it was. Clementine from Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Joy Wang slash 
Shabutupaki. That one question launches amazing conversations about their lives, the movies they love, and about the past, present, and future of entertainment. Roy in uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I worry about what this might say about me, but I've brought Tracy Flick in the film Election. So if you like movies, diverse perspectives, and great conversations, check us out. Oof, this is real. New episodes of Feeling Seen drop every week on MaximumFun.org. Oh my gosh, hi, it's me, Dave Holmes, host of the pop culture game show Troubled Waters. On Troubled Waters, we play a whole host of games, like one where I describe a show using a limerick, and our guests have to figure out what it is. Let's do one right now. What show am I talking about? This podcast has game after game, and brilliant guests who come play you. The host is named Dave. It could be your fave. So try it. Life won't be the same. A uh, big business starring Bette Midler and Lily Tomlin. Close, but no. Oh, is it Troubled Waters, the pop culture quiz show with all your favorite comedians? Yes. Troubled Waters is the answer to this question and all of my life's problems. Now, legally, we actually can't guarantee that. But you can find it on MaximumFun.org or wherever you get your podcasts. Okay. I want to munch. Squat. Squat. I want to munch. Squat. What instrument was that, Justin? How? Oh. Shit. I got to call my friend Steve. I'm spooked. Hello, my children. Oh, hi, Count Donut. I have missed you so terribly, but I have Where's to Where's your cape? Visit. Usually there's a cape. I you, lost you. it in a bet. In a you bet? You lost it in a bet? Ba- ba- Sorry, no, no. Did you say in a bet or in a bat? A bat bet. Oh, a bat bet. You I got beat in a bat bet? I can bat? eat 100 bats. <laughs> Whoa, hold Wait. on. No, hold on. There's a lot I'm... There's a lot I guess I am mistaken about vampire culture. Oh. Um, I didn't think you eat the bats. I oh, thought you like. Of course, I eat the bats. Okay, for feud or like dominance or. There, I've turned up the color of my shirt okay. to give the appearance. Very, of the very. So wait, hold on, Count Donut. Can I tell about back a quick sec? I thought it was a bet you made with a bat. Who did you make a bet with that you could eat a hundred bats? It was a large bat. So a bat said, I bet you can't eat a hundred of me. <laughs> Smaller bats. Hey, do you see okay. those hundred bat cucks that he over hate, there? That he, that he hated. Yeah, look at those okay. beta bats over there. Can you, I'm going to make Bo- you a beta bat bet. Do you, bones and all, are you cook? Are you allowed to cook the bats? I eat them raw. That's okay, what I say. I, raw, okay, whole? I save them, but I could only catch one. The others got that's, wise to my plans once I scooped shit. the first up and jammed him into my fanged maw. And how was that dining experience? I ate half of donuts? the bat. I ate half before I became the. Let let me review eating the bat. The blood, primo, delish. We love. We sta- good. Okay, we stand cool. the blood. Vin, bones and brain of bat. This is less pleasing to the palate. Yeah, I bet. I bet there was the some there. limited squirming when my fangs Gross. touched his nervous system. Gross. Gross. That sucks. Well, it thanks for stopping by, Count Donut. It's really still, good. You want to talk about donuts? Still or? better than the McRib. Okay. Not usually your sort of area. You don't usually. I sort have of... never eaten the McRib. You've exposed my shame. Okay. All right. I've that, only based sh- this off of reviews on Dig. Okay. And cool. Fork, and fork. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen to me. It is Halloween season and that can only mean one thing. Oh, Justin wanted me to tell you there are Jimmy John starter jackets. But that's all he wanted to say on that. Matter. Thanks, man. I'm glad that Justin's using you as he a left, He now. left a note. Okay. But I wish to talk about these. this. More like Jimmy John's non-starter jackets. See that that's the kind there of joke that Justin made earlier that really freaked me. Yeah, I was just trying to out. reestablish yeah. a balance. Uh so we're going to talk about um these zoink zoinks 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 what is yeah. this? Is it uh is it Z O I N K S? Uh yes. Oh, uh, that's Scooby Doo for fuck. 
Yeah, oh, it's a, well, this Shag's... makes perfect sense now within the context of the story. So yeah. I... It's I'm pretty sure it's Shaggy Doo for fuck. I don't think it might be Scooby Velma says. for fuck. Just instead of saying Zoinks, you can just say fuck. Chris, no, but... Chris, Krispy Kreme, and Zoinks are doing coming together for the first ever Scooby Doo Halloween donut. Can I tell you? Row, I'm, row. I tell you, Count Donut. I actually yes. saw these in store yesterday. Oh, how exciting! Uh, did you? How many did you consume? Oh, uh, zero of them. They didn't look. They didn't look appetizing at all. Do you know what I would trade away to eat a single donut? What? I cannot. I cannot even express to you in terms that your mammalian brain could comprehend. I would do. Why the vampires aren't mammals? Sorry, you're not a what mammal. My chick. But do you lay eggs? But I'm magic. Like, um, if you're a magic, you, you don't apply to these pedestrian laws. So a dragon is just magic. Well, a dragon, dra- a dragon is not lizard. real. You have embarrassed yeah. yourself. Okay. Hey, can we go back to why you... Hey, just go eat a donut. Why can't you just I go eat a donut? I can't. Why not? Severe gluten endurance. No. A they vampire's only donuts. weakness. Not ones you want to fucking eat. Hey, listen. Zoinks! <laughs> row, row, Krispy Kreme. Row, row! This is an expression I'm thinking of great jubilance. Row, row! Krispy Kreme and Warner Brothers Discovery Global... <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, I got carried by the no, whimsy. Yeah. The whimsy it inherited this incredible story. They're artists, Justin. Row, They're the row. artists. Roro, <laughs> they're art- <laughs> they're, they're, they're artists. They're artists that remove things from Max to keep from playing residuals. I listen, <laughs> Roro. Warner Brothers Discovery Global Consumer Products and the Krispy Kreme are bringing mystery and monsters to life in this Halloween in the first ever unveiling of all the Scooby Doo. All know Scooby Doo. Halloween doesn't. Okay. Oh, there were only six in the box that I saw at the store. I wasn't at Krispy Kreme, mind you. Okay. Okay, so this is the laziest yeah, shit so I think I've ever this seen. This was like the main reason for those at home. This gives the same vibe as like, I went and bought cupcakes for my kid's birthday party. They wanted a themed birthday party. Rather than pay for themed cupcakes, I bought a bunch of like uh, two cent worth plastic rings and just yes. shoved them into the cupcakes. I got a Baskin Robbins cookie cake that I did put Shrek stickers all over it because my son cannot get enough of Puss in Boots. So it features all new donuts perfect for any event. And let me tell you what they are. The first is the Scooby Doo Donut, an original glazed donut dipped in Scooby Doo blue icing, decorated with Scooby Doo lime green icing. They're just saying Scooby Doo. You can't say Scooby Doo. You can't just Scooby-Doo add Scooby Doo. <laughs> it's yeah. a Scooby Doo. It's a flavor. Everyone's favorite flavor. Scooby Doo lime, Scooby Doo lime green icing, and mystery machine chocolate to piece. There's. The, sorry, that's uh, that's the I got the confused halfway through. Scooby Doo is blue icing decorated with Scooby Doo lime green icing swirls, orange cake batter buttercream, and topped with a Scooby Doo chocolate piece. With a Scooby Doo chocolate piece being a um, a Scooby Doo chocolate piece, a panel of chocolate that has Scooby Doo's face on it. Is yes, that's much correct. It. That's is the rings that you so cruelly described. If you earlier. removed the the Scooby Doo. A uh, chocolate piece. Why would you do this? It's but delicious. But if you did I'm that so... and you held it up out of context and you said, "What is this, this donut is themed to?" I would bet a thousand dollars no one would know. You're saying that if I can understand your concern, you're saying that without the picture of Scooby Doo, it is harder to identify it as a Scooby Doo donut. I'm that saying... may be Travis, if I may be so bold, and I am not a confectioner. That may be the reason for the inclusion of the picture of Scooby yes. Doo. That helps with the effect. Yes, I would I'm also saying, recommend the removing. What I'm saying is, it feels like it feels like the same thing as saying, "Let me do and try to guess who I'm doing an impression of." It's me, Al Pacino. <laughs> this is yeah. a confusing one. Scoop, 
Spooky Monster Cookies in Cream mm-hmm. Donut. A donut filled with Oreo cookies in cream filling dipped in Scooby Doo purple icing. Okay, listen. Now, Scooby Doo can have a one color. <laughs> <laughs> and there's at least that blue, I think, on his collar, if I'm looking at this piece right. correctly. Right. There is I no purple the... associated with the dog known as Scooby-Doo. Yes. Uh, this is a purple, uh, Scooby-Doo purple, black chocolate icing, and a Scooby-Doo monster chocolate piece. It's a it's a chocolate piece with the monster from Scooby-Doo. And then there's Jenkies. Jenkies. How could this be? Uh, that also means, it's like, shit. How can this be? How could this be Jenkies? But are you confused about why a word could exist? Why could they say jinkies? Why could this be? Because they couldn't oh, curse. You're okay with zoinks, but no, jinkies. No, I struggled is... mightily with zoinks. You remember. Okay, I was can in we, pain. Can I ask you a question? Do you yeah. think that with Please. the cookies and cream donut, there was like an intern or somebody who was like, well, we could call it spookies and cream. And they were like, no, that would confuse people. Would then weird. they wouldn't fucking know that it was cookies and cream. Get out of here. You're fired, Todd. If they said spookies and cream, I think we would say terrible jokes about them. I think we would be very hard on them you don't for think saying spookies this bad and thing. cream is better than a monster, a Scooby-Doo monster cookies and cream donut. Well, well no, because I, I want a, a filled donut. There could be anything in there. Yes. If you say it's got... Eat this donut. What's it's, inside of it? It's got okay. spookies and <laughs> I, I would not enjoy. Wouldn't want to eat that. We, we, I, uh, here's a quote from Dave Skinner. We asked Scooby-Doo and his friends to solve uh-huh. the case of the Dave, disappearing. You sorry, didn't what? ask them. They're not real, Dave. I'm sorry. Can I read Dave's words? On? Yes, of course. Dave Skinner has not interrupted you the entire show. And you've been speaking the entire time. This is the only time Dave this gets to be on the show. Dave right. speaks. There's egg on my face. We asked Scooby-Doo and his friends to solve the case of the disappearing donuts. Because it seems like whenever we put out a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts, they vanish almost immediately. <laughs> All right. Let's- Scooby-Doo is the perfect franchise this Halloween season for a fun collection of all new donuts. And to solve this spooky mystery uh do you think i i would like to see the edited uh like the first draft of dave's speech where it says scooby-doo was the franchise that we were able to get scooby-doo was the most available franchise this it was season. within our price range to yeah. do the scooby-doo it was this or monster squad <laughs> we, we, we did do hereditary scooby-doo, we do scooby-doo or we get the monster squalled and have enough left over for a nice Christmas party. I so push for admits- midsummer themed donuts. But <laughs> this is what we learned. Our whole Ari Aster, this is a squashed old lady donut. Yum, yum. Enjoy. <laughs> this is our human centipede donut. <laughs> it's delicious. Three donuts all baked together. It's challenging and delicious. Uh, there, oh, one quick thing to know that you could get a free one. You get the freebie on Halloween if you wear a costume, the Krispy Kreme. Okay. This is nice. This is just a public service announcement. Thank you so much. Oh, I should mention also when you eat one, they've asked you to use the hashtag Scoobtober. <laughs> okay. Why? Why would you do this? Scoob-tober. You've already said joints and jinkies. Joinks? This yep. is correct. Yeah, they mix them up sometimes. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time. Thanks, Count Donut. I must Happy wait. Scooptober. Goodbye. Okay, you didn't even leave. Hey, the let's do shop. another question. Yeah. yeah, I'd love that. I'd love to do another question. I'm gonna ah! shut my door. Hold on one second. Okay. I have to. There's a. There's extra biological matter that I always have to retch up after one of those. What? So please go ahead. Just okay. just charge what? right ahead. I'm gonna close my office door because there's a loud dog outside. And it may be Scooby Doo. And Justin, himself. you read the questions. Yeah, b- yeah, buddy. But I had closed the questions to to. Well, I don't know who closed my questions tab. Somebody here wanted to just read about Scooby Doo donuts. I've long desired the ability to say I'm going out for a smoke and be able to take a break from whatever social activity I'm engaged with just to chill outside for a bit. When you say I need to step out for some fresh air, it leads people to ask if you're okay or if something's wrong. How do I communicate to my peers that I just want to stand outside for five minutes without people thinking there's something wrong? That's from Smokeless in Surrey. 
P.S. I'm considering learning how to yo-yo, so I have something to do outside and possibly impress any passersby. You are, in, you're in, that's an incredible mind you've gotten there. Yeah. And I would love to just step inside and walk Hey guys, around. sorry. Hey, can we pause the movie real quick? Yo. <laughs> I gotta get my yo um, on out of here. What, you want me to yo in the house? With all your valuables? I'm gonna go yo on the porch. I, this is the, I think this is the reason 75 to 80% of smokers smoke is to yeah. just get a little a little uh chill chill situation popping outside real quick. I had my little my little dalliance with smoking in college and that's the only thing I miss about it. It's just nice to go out and just commune, you know? There needs to be a new activity that is forbidden indoors. Vaping. No. No. That is forbidden indoors, not particularly harmful to the bod. Vaping. And you maybe the science is out. Maybe vaping. The science is out. Maybe vaping. The science is out. It's too new. It's too new to know. Too new. Too uh, new. Science is out. Is is not vaping. Uh, but you have to do it outdoors. Screaming. <laughs> hey, cool. hey, guys! Sorry, Actually, I gotta step outside and scream real quick for five minutes. Who could blame you? Honestly, yes. like, who would begrudge you that? You're yelling. You're right. Yep. I'm gonna step outside for five minutes. Yeah, and scream. Yeah. I have to use, excuse me, everyone, I need to go use my sundial. And then oh. you step outside for a few minutes to use your sundial. Not dial. harmful to the body, have to do it outside. Gotta now, do it outside. Now, the I got in a lot, I, I used to be bad about this at parties where I would uh, do this, but I just wouldn't say anything to anybody. And I would just kind of go outside. Yeah. But then I would think, oh man, I'm already outside. Wouldn't it be fun to go home? <laughs> No, yeah, I, mean, I see. And so I'd end up just leaving. Leaving step by step. Yes, I would just gradually realize, like, oh, I'm on oh, the You know, it'd be fun sitting in my car. Oh, I'd you know, it'd be fun home. starting my car. <laughs> and backing oh, slowly nice. out of this wacky safe. I can't listen to my audiobook unless my car is on. Oh, this isn't safe to just, this is bad for the planet to just sit here and idle. I should get a drive going. Where to go? Ah, oh, maybe home. Perfect. Let me hit you with this. Devil sticks. You can yo-yo indoors. In fact, I would argue that probably most high-level yo-yo tournaments are indoor events. Yes. Um, what's wrong, Travis? You look like no, you're I about just to had, say some I shit. No, I didn't want to interrupt. That. I just had an idea. That's not true. You want nothing more I than I want to desperately to interrupt, but I don't want to be okay. caught interrupting. Okay, yeah. <laughs> good. Thank he you he wants to honesty. do it. He doesn't want the repercussions. Yes, correct. Devil sticks? You could break a smoke detector doing those indoors. That's true. I must step outside. Do they make I miniature devil sticks like they do, like the little skateboards you can do with your fingers? Do they have little devil sticks that you can Pocket do? Devil tech sticks? Tech, tech deck devil skit? Yeah. Stick. Tech devil sticks? Devil sticks? Tech devil One more sticks? time. Little tech devil? Tech devil sticks. Tech deck devil sticks. Tech what about bird watching? Cool. Cat nickel sack. Bird watching can't do inside unless that person owns a parrot. And even then, it's not, it does not, it doesn't count. No, you do it Yeah. Once. You, you can't walk into someone's bird room and be like, there, found one. That's you could just like me. be just every, every the 55 minutes, you just look out the window and like, oh, got to go. Let me go catch that one. Real, let me go write it down. Be right back. Go outside for five minutes. Pretend to write in a journal while you just like breathe deeply. I don't think because my immediate reaction was to say, I'm going to go meditate outside. Oh, no, that's But so I don't weird. think that that's getting you out of that. What if, yeah. like, what do you guys think about, excuse me, I have to fart, <laughs> and then you walk outside? Mm. When you say I have to go get some fresh air, I assume that you are going yeah. outside to rip one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to rip a large one. I'm, hey, guys, got to step outside real quick. I'm solar powered. That could be cool. What about I have to make a call? Um, how that often is, can you do that? How does though? that go? Yes. Sorry, I need to make a call. I'm a day trader. Sorry, guy. Every hour on the hour, I got to step outside and make a call. Sorry, yeah. guys. It sounds good to me. I mean, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Pretend to pretend to catch a bug. <laughs> Your house is full of fucking bugs, little, man. Fuck, I gotta get this little guy outside. Yes, again. It's a wasp, so I should hurry. Hey, Justin. I'll find a good home for it. Hey, Justin, if you notice that wherever we go, Griffin catches like 10 to 11 bugs. Is he a Renfield? Dang. Yeah, I think it's possible. Is that why he didn't laugh? Like, is that why he didn't laugh at my great Renfield joke? Yeah, I think it might have hit too close to home. And he's always stepping outside, and but then he catches another bug again. I think he's eating the bugs. 
I'm not eating the bugs. I'm going outside and re-sheltering the bugs. Wow, his hearing I'm out is there for really five good for somebody you know, that's a like normal three person. Rooms away. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> we dropped him from the call and he can still feel what we're saying. Yeah. Like and the there's thrall. some bug legs hanging out of his mouth when he came in on this last song. There's not any bug. No, hold on, Travis. You can't just say I have bug legs coming out. <laughs> yeah, they're stuck in his teeth. I could see it. Travis, right you can't say like I have bug legs, legs in my mouth and teeth because people at home can't see me. Don't no, say I that shit. No, I can see the beetle wings sticking out. Don't say that shit. I don't have beetle wings. Oh my wings god, or his bug eyes legs. are turning red, Justin. His muscles are bulging. My eyes are flipping over his color. table. <laughs> my eyes are normal. You would hear a table flipping over. My eyes are normal. He just pointed to a don't... sign that said, "My master is coming, and he'll feast." I don't on have you. a don't sign, and I don't have bug legs or beetle wings sticking out my teeth and mouth. Yeah, oh my god, Griffin just opened master. the door and Isn't bowed deeply, and Dracula walked in. I did not bow to. Dra That's. I didn't. I would never bow to Dracula. <laughs> I would be scared of a Dracula. Oh, yeah. Ghosts can get bent, but I would absolutely be scared of a well, Dracula. He means Dracula. business. He means business, and he's got a huge media legacy behind him. Mm. The pole, I mean, he could get in to see Cash no problem. God knows that's true. Oh, hey, thank Dracula. you so much for listening to our podcast. Travis got to make, make his Can concert. you not just be like, I got to go outside because it stinks in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you. sick of being around human beings for five minutes. Do you guys not smell that? Fuck. Fuck. I got to step outside and reset my smell stuff, my smell sensors, because it stinks in here to high heaven. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast, my brother, my brother, me. We hope you've enjoyed yourself. We hope you've gotten something out of this. You learned something, if you I may be something. so bold. Um, and we hope that you're growing as a person every day and staying hydrated and everything. All that stuff. There it goes. Hey, if you want to see uh, the cover, the cover art for our next graphic novel, The Adventure Zone Suffering Game, you can go to theadventurezonecomic.com. And also, while you're there, why not go ahead and pre-order it? Uh, yeah. That's one thing off your to-do list today. Get some, uh, get some momentum going. Maybe finish that to-do list for once. Right? Yes. And then, what's that? The next thing on your to-do list? Go check out McElroyMerch.com. See the Plato's Rave poster there, the Glow in the Dark, I Found More Questions in Kevlar, West Virginia pin, the Amnesty Lodge candle, and then you'll know that 10% of all merch proceeds uh, of everything you bought went to Reproductive Freedom for All. So, like, that's just a bunch of stuff you can mark off your list. And hey, listen, have a safe, have a safe Halloween. It can get pretty I wild out there. Shit. What? Thank you. Whoa. It's ha good while this Halloween. Okay. Um, thanks to Montaigne. For Makes them easier to recruit into your thrall, doesn't it? Bring your you bring your master new you servants. Steps great. on. Uh, I guess Justin doesn't want to thank Montaigne. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Well, if you did want to thank Montaigne, you wouldn't say that I have bug parts in my teeth. And Never said that. That's, Never said no, that. I said that. Justin said that you wanted people to get hurt at Halloween so that you could get them into your thrall and feed your master. Can we do the sonic bath, please? Thank you, Montaigne. Thanks, Montaigne. Watch out, here comes Griffin. Griffin is back. No more I love Dracula. I want to kiss Dracula. I want to kiss Dracula. I want to kiss Dracula. Pretend I said my name. And I'm Travis McElroy. And I'm Rin. <laughs> right, guys? I knew it. <laughs> right, guys? On the That's lips. who I am. The Old lips. bug mouth mackerel. The lips, lips, on the lips, on the lips. That's the end. <laughs> Maximum Fun, a worker-owned network of artist-owned shows, supported directly by you.